Hello, I'm Kimberly, and welcome to the weekend edition of the Nave News Update. It's Friday, November 20th, and many of the stories you hear here can be found at IndianCountryNews.com. Here's the news for the day from the Associated Press and other Native news sources. Verizon Wireless has announced that it will partner with the U.S. Department of Interior to provide over 1,000 Native American students at the 10 Bureau of Indian Education Managed Dormitories with connectivity to keep up with both STEM and their cultural heritage learning. The announcement comes after an influx of recent concerns that Native American children are getting left behind in education. The Bureau of Indian Education's partnership with Verizon is an attempt to provide internet access and modern resources to Native children to increase student learning and achievement. Verizon will provide wireless broadband connectivity to eight of the ten dormitories being targeted by the end of this year. Students will also receive wireless devices to run on Verizon's provided broadband service through Microsoft. Microsoft will also be providing students with two years of free access to Office 365. Research has proven tech to be significantly less effective without proper integration and training of teachers, so Verizon will also be partnering with the Boys and Girls Club of America in conjunction with the Boys and Girls Club of Indian Country to help provide training and curriculum resources through a grant. The U.S. Census Bureau is testing new questions on tribal enrollment to try to get a more accurate count of American Indians in 2020. The agency is aiming to avoid a 5% undercount of the population seen in 2010 and reaching out to tribes years in advance. Officials say the Bureau is getting feedback from tribal leaders and will decide later whether the questions make it to the 2020 census. While the tribal membership question has supporters, others in Alaska have concerns since some of them identify with a village or village corporation rather than a tribe. The 2010 census found that 2.9 million identified as Na American Indian or Alaska Natives alone. The figure nearly doubled among respondents who said they were American Indian, Alaska Native, and another race. The Shakopee Mdewakanton Sioux community announced a $1 million donation to the University of Minnesota to fund three major projects relating to nutritional health among Native Americans. The gift is being made under the Tribe Seeds of Native Health campaign to improve Native American nutrition nationwide, in which the university is a strategic partner. The three groundbreaking projects will make major contributions in the fields of nutritional science, public health, and food production. When the Seeds of Native Health campaign was first announced, the Tribe and university leaders had identified general areas of collaboration. The projects announced are the culmination of the months of careful study and planning. Gary Robinson's short film, We Are All Related, won Best Animation from the 2015 American Indian Film Festival held in San Francisco. We Are All Related, narrated by actor Peter Coyote, tells the story of a Choctaw boy who takes a walk in the woods near his Oklahoma home with his grandfather. Using a combination of science and tribal wisdom, the elder helped the boy understand his place in a great big universe. Robinson, who is of Choctaw and Cherokee heritage, has been creating content with Native American subject matter for more than 30 years, including documentary films, educational videos, children's books, teens' novels, and nonfiction history books. His documentary, Healing the Warrior's Heart, about Native American soldiers returning from war with PTSD, was recently broadcast on several PBS stations across the country. The latest music from Hard Rock Records is here with the release of Spencer Battius' newest EP, Stupid in Love. The four-track EP, which includes Mary Jane, Right Here, Stupid in Love, and Over You, is now available for purchase on iTunes for $3.99. R&B and pop artist and member of the Seminole Tribe of Florida was signed to Hard Rock Records in 2014. 
Baddius is the first Native American artist signed to Hard Rock Records. Baddius grew up singing gospel music and hymns in the Miccosukee, Cree, and Choctaw before turning his sights on pop and R&B. In 2007, Baddius opened for Aerosmith, Sting, and The Police, performing for an audience of more than 100,000 people at the Hard Rock Calling Music Festival in London's Hyde Park. In July of 2015, Spencer performed at the Hard Rock Rising Barcelona Global Music Festival in Spain, where he joined other notable artists, including Kings of Leon, Lenny Kravitz, Robbie Williams, and Steve Angelo. For more information on Spencer Badius, check out hardrockrecords.com. And that's another roundup of news from Indian Country on this edition of the Nave News Update. I'd like to thank you for joining me, and have a grand day.